Hello, I just need a uh, parking permit. Yeah, for fishing. All right, uh, just a day pass then? Yeah. What's your tag? It's tense. Uh, Have you fished here before? Nah. So since it's a weekday, it doesn't really matter too much because we're still really slow. Uh -huh. So normally you can fish from any primitive campsite or open space, just not the electric, but it's okay. I'll let the manager know because it's so slow right now if you want. If you find an electric site that you like the shoreline, go mm -hmm. for it. All right. Um, there's a, a limestone shelf that extends, it's about eight feet out from where the water line is, uh -huh. and then it drops straight down about nine feet. Nine so that's feet. our deepest area you can get, Okay. because this whole lower section is a deeper area. Okay. That's good for the catfish, but you need to make sure you have something that's gonna weight it down. We're catch and release on Bassin Channel, but there's flatheads, crappie, um, carp, there's no walleye. We, we don't even stock that. They don't make it down here. Okay. Kind of typical fish, lots of shad, feeder, feeder fish, fingerlings, and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, ma'am. Thanks for the info. Have a good day. All right, sweet. Got a parking permit. Value for information. Got a little coal over here. Some structure right there. Live bluegills today. Check out these. Little gear ties I got from Wally World last night. Keep my poles and stuff beating up each other and stuff. And it keeps them floats whenever I tie floats up like that. Keep them floats. Keep everything together. And this one, I got some cut shad. That's what they've been wanting. I need to go on another bay run. I'm running low on base. Let me take out a couple of these, a couple of these shad to start with. I'm going to put a little headpiece on there. And this rig, we're going to send it out there. I don't know about this flow today. It's a look, it's already tangled up. It's all in the tree. We're gonna get some of this cut shad out there though. I guess that's my favorite base. We got a three way on this one. Cut shad. Send it out there. We got a Kentucky high low. Some shad. Double hook with some shad. Load it up with some cut shad, cut bait. We got this one finna go out there. Alright. It's kind of windy for that flow, so we're gonna put on a rattle. Alright, let's get us another live bait. Got us another bluegill. That float wasn't working. Oh, takedowns. That's a fish. Yes, sir. That's a kitty cat. Oh, nice take down. Oh, yeah. Right as I'm getting the blue gear, he hit that Kentucky that double hook rig. Hey, it's a nice one.
First one, got the skunk off the bank. Woo. I didn't the corner of the mouth, but he just barely hooked too. Just to get out of there. Mm. It's a nice one. It's probably about five pounds. I got my scale. Let's put him on the scale and see. Three, three pounds, 11 ounces. Get that back from your little buddy. Three pounder. Probably got him four round up, see style. Give you a nice little four pounder. All right, let's get him back. Woo. All right, got the skunk out the bank. Got a nice one to start. Start the day off with. I forgot about this bluegill over there. He needs some oxygen. I hooked the bluegill, left him over here. Had a, I looked back and I seen my rod was going down. So, you know, I'm gonna have to grab us another one. Right above that little line. Just like that. Right, let's see him out there. We got a blue gilly. Blue gill, a lot, of, a lot of bait going out there too. Let's see if someone wanna pick this up. All right, let's get some more bait on this rig. Oh, it looked like he bit the bottom one. He bit the one with the glow in the dark bead. A little shad truth bead. Got a piece of body section we're gonna throw on there. Still got a head piece on there. Alrighty, let's put this Kentucky back out there. Let's see if we can get another one. I really want to pull something in on some live bait. Oh, I just put that one out there. It just got hit. Yeah, I tried float. I tried uh, using a slip float to float the live bait around, but it's too much wind. The bait want to swim up close to the bank where I don't really want it. I want it kind of out there on the flat. So I just put it on bottom on a. A whisker seeker rattle rig. Y'all seen that rig I put it out there on? Let's see if it worked that way. He ain't had no bites since that last one, so we're just gonna try try some different stuff. Man, we ain't getting no bites. It might be time to switch spots. I think I'm gonna go over on that bench. We getting ready to move spots. This spot done went cold on me. Alrighty. New spot. That's a new bait. We pulled up to a new location on the lake. We're going to finish the day out in this spot. We moved just a little bit left of where we was into some shallower water. See if they lay up in these shallows over here. Cut that in half. Cut that tail off. Yeah. Cut that puppy in half. We got some Carolinas. Slip sinker rigs. That's what we gonna finish the day with. We put some baits right on the bottom. A little bit of different presentation. Different presentation of the bait. Let's get some of this cut bait out. We in a new spot. Got us some cut bait out there. Let's get us some live bait out there too. A little 
bluegill. Just like that. Oh, we getting a bite already. Oh. All right. We hooked up. New spot already hooked up. up on one. Quick. That was quick. I was just getting ready to put some live bait out there. Just getting ready to put this live bait. Oh. Man, look how he hooks. Man, he's very good. Yeah. Another nice one. Another two, three pounder. Just gonna put him back, get this live bait out there. Alright, number two. That works. Alright, let's get this live bait out there now. Sure, he's good. Put him in the water real quick. Oh uh, yeah, he's swimming. <clears throat> All right, we got a live bait going out. That was quick. We just pulled up to this spot. We gonna load it up with some more body pieces. I think that was the one with the middle section, little body section. Let's check on this little bluegill. Let's see what the hell he's doing over here. He's still chilling. A little bluegill chilling. We're gonna put him back out there. Alright y'all. It's been another good day on the water. It's time to get out of here though. Yep. Still got my live bait. Did nothing want to pick it up today. They still want that cut bait. They still want the cut bait. Yeah, the last few trips, I've been bringing some live bait just to see if they want to hit it, but I ain't got nothing to hit it, hit the live bait yet. Thank y'all for watching, and I hope y'all learned something. Like this video and subscribe if y'all want to see more. And don't forget, while you packing up, leave a line out. You never know. Alright y'all, until the next one, I'm out. <laughs>